Hi everyone, this video is an introduction to ProjectWise Forms, one of the 365 services showing you how to get started and create a form definition. So let's start at the beginning. You need to have a ProjectWise Cloud project. So if you don't have one already, create one or go and ask your ProjectWise administrator to do that for you. Once you have the project, you go to connect.bentley.com and log in using your Bentley IMS credentials and you will get to this front page. From here, you'll see a ProjectWise projects box with recent projects in. If you don't see anything, then click on the magnifying glass button to go and search for your project. This is the project I'm interested in. I'm just going to click through to the project front page. And then in here, we've got some project information and then also the each of the services has its own tile. We're talking about forms. Also, issue resolution is related to this. They, they're powered by the same form creator. So I'm click through to forms. And this presents us with the, the user dashboard. So every user on the project will see this dashboard. And we'll do, I'll do another video to talk about how to customize and configure this, uh, this page. But today we're talking about how to actually create that, that form definition. Assuming you have a form editor permission on the project, you'll be able to see this cog icon. If you don't, go and manage your users and add that for yourself. But if you can see the cog, click on it. It will open in a separate tab in your browser and it will show you all of the form definitions that are already associated with the project. If there's none, you've got a couple of options. You can search for forms that exist in another project, and you can copy those across. Uh, you can use our predefined templates, or you can click Create Form and create a new form from scratch, which is what we're going to do today. So if I click Create Form, it opens this new form dialog box, and there's four options here. So let's just talk about those options. Discipline, there's two options. These are fixed, it's general purpose or issue. Uh, an issue is for the issue resolution service. So we can create a form that can be filled out within the PDF markup tool within the design review app. That's really what issue resolution is for. Today we're talking about the general purpose forms. This really could be any type of form. Within type, I have eight options. These are fixed, I can't change these. Um, so just pick the most relevant one or put everything under other, however you want to manage that. Um, I'd recommend simplicity is the best way forward. So I'm creating a daily log today, so I'm gonna choose my type as daily log. And I'm gonna either create a property group, so I can just type in here and, and add that as a new property group if I want. Um, or actually, I've already got daily log created, so I'm going to just match those together. Again, just for simplicity and this is going to be called a, a daily log for site A. Okay, So I'm going to create my format. As soon as I click, click create I'll have a draft form definition here and because it's draft it means I can edit it. Once it's approved then I can't edit it but it's available to be filled out. So it starts as draft until I'm ready for it to be live on the project. So click create, and that'll take me straight into the form designer. So watch the next video to see how to start building your form. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Thanks.